Some of that which I mentioned are the same things which were done to Jesus. Various groups tried to defame Jesus, laughing scornfully at his claim to be the Son of God. Some were willing to give him credibility as a wise man, maybe even a prophet. Of God, no. God, no. They would, not, they would not go that far. John 16.2 tells us they will make him, or you, an outcast from the synagogue. But will they? But will they? I think today what they do. But will they? I think today what they do to those who preach the word in spirit and truth is try to hate them. I was surprised last quarter in spirit and truth is try to domesticate them. They do to those who preach the word in spirit and truth is try to domesticate them. I was surprised last quarter to find out I was the only one in a small group of a large class that believed that ultimate truth and salvation exclusively in Christ. It would have been that ultimate truth and salvation is found exclusively in Christ. It would have been easier for me to compromise, e appease, appeal to the group's personality, which wanted to be so-called easygoing or nice, but would that be? I did not think so. Or nice, but would that be true to the word? I did not think so. There's a sort of sentiment that to love is to not impose any discipline or standards, but does that anybody any good? In To be a Christian, any discipline or standards, but does that really do anybody any good in the long run? But to be a Christian today is to be tolerant of all things, even to the point of relativizing one's faith. I'm not sure that's bearing a witness to the word. I'm not sure it's that's bearing, false, bearing truthful witness to the word. It is hard to bear witness, true witness today in a culture which, which wants 10 second summaries of a person or situation, good or bad, give me the answer. But I submit we must refrain from judging too quickly. Most assertions require qualifications of one kind or another.